What's up, everybody? It's Tuesday the 17th. It's about 11 o'clock. So, I don't want to make this... I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to do it. I doubted it and doubted it. If he wanted me to speak on it, and I keep hearing expose them. A lot. There's a lot to say. Like, I've been getting horrible, crazy dreams. Five o'clock a lot in them. I don't know what that means. It's like the third one I've had. I'm going to make this video and then either later or something I'll make the videos about the dreams and feeling the Holy Spirit again and what he's he's been telling me and but first I have to do this I don't want to do this I'm scared I have faith that he'll protect us but that ain't gonna make it any easier to handle before I start I know people are gonna doubt this and people are going to laugh and scoff and let me tell you something I have proof so before you go making any judgments know that I have proof if he tells me to post it I'll post it this subject is disgusting I don't even know how to start this Usually when I sit down with this thing on me, he just starts talking. Like I know what is supposed to be said. Sorry. And how it's supposed to be said and what he wants heard. And This ain't. They're going to be doing construction down the road, man. I might end up having to go in a house. So I'll just start with this. I have a three-year-old son, Elijah David. A couple weeks ago, we found a cavity. We took him to the dentist. And now this dentist office is huge. They're babies to teen and whatever. And because of the coverage we have, it's one of the only places we could take them. And now... After we came home from the first initial checkup, what they do in this place is they have him sit, the boy, the baby on my lap, face me, tilt him backwards and put the baby's head on the dentist's lap. And that's how they check his teeth. You never get to go into the back room, which is odd enough. But when he came home, he did real good. Like we took him because we saw when I'm brushing his teeth, he had a cavity and he gave him this little rubber ducky. So he comes home and over that day he took his ducky and said okay mommy I'm gonna check your teeth and I uh, did a little checkup he told her good job sat her up they tell us that he has to be put to sleep so they could fix this cavity and gave us a medicine to make him woozy he was to fast he wasn't to drink anything from the time he got up until the time he went he had to get this medicine at 8 o'clock because his appointment was at 9 and now the whole time, I knew something bad was going to happen. I thought he was going to die. But I've stated before that I've seen my son with the light of heaven behind him saying, Come here, Daddy, come here. And I thought, well, if this is my father's will, who am I to step in? And now remember, this is my son. So uh, I ignored it, I didn't ignore it, I just kept going, I thought if this is the time that he's going to take him home, then I'd rather, the, if I try and change it, what if instead of going back there and turning out that he was allergic to the gas, which he would have just went to sleep, what if I change it and he steps in front of a truck or something horrible. So my faith 
and my father's will dictated that he went. And I knew the whole time. So the day comes, and now I have to say this. Please don't think I'm being anti-Semitic, because I'm not. The first day I took him, when I came out, there was a van, there was a Torah, all traditional Hebrew food. Like, I thought if that's the dentist, the dude's a scumbag. There was a banana peel sitting in there that was all no good, just rotten. And the Torah. And all the dentists are Jewish. Goldberg and stuff like that. You have to remember. Revelation states Jewish from the synagogue of Satan. There's a difference between our father's chosen people and what they call Zionist, which I don't understand the meaning of it. I guess it's some sort of militant. I don't know. So we go. And when we get there, the whole thing was weird. There was some guy there with his two kids, two girls. And of course the boy's playing with her and his wife. But the wife was real skinny, spoke brush, broken English. Sounded Russian, Ukrainian. They take her back, and like three minutes later, they call for the baby. So we take the baby back, and she's already back there, and she has stickers and everything. We take the baby back. We leave. He's crying. We walk out. I go sit outside. This dude comes out, moves his car a spot away from me. And when I go to go back in, he's going, you're doing the same thing I'm doing, smoking. Like, what? It's my spidey senses. I don't know how else to explain it. We're tingling like everything was wrong about this whole freaking situation. So the boy comes out. Everything's fine. He said, oh, he did a good job. He's walking through the parking lot. And I turn and look at him. My whole soul screamed, that's not my son. I don't know why. I don't know where it came from. But I know something happened I heard it that's not my son so we come home and now Liz started taking notes Monday the 9th went to the dentist Tuesday woke up a black and blue right eye two distinct red marks his right eye was black and blue here and on the eyelid like somebody held his eye open. And over here there's a white mark where something was pressed into his skin. And another bruise right here like a red. <sighs> About 10 o'clock he spiked the fever. Bad mood for intermittent, intermittent periods of the day. Ate well but threw off small bit. Staring spells. Just zone out man. Wednesday, two red spots on the left side of his face, one by his temple and one under his left eye became apparent. Right eye swollen and red, spiked the temperature around 10 again. Used Motrin both times to bring it down, appetite less, slept a lot. When awake, he had 90% loss of all ability to control self-rage, spells, temper tantrums, uncooperative. Now I know my son is three. They say the terrible twos, it's not the terrible twos, it's the terrible threes. He changed. He flips out, man just snaps. He bitter today. He don't bite no more. Before the kid's so articulate, like he speaks almost as well as I do, he can no longer get the words out. Like if he goes to pick up a pen and drops it, he just snaps out, throws himself on the ground, screaming, yelling, kicking. Now on Wednesday, Liz asked, what happened to I? He responded, a bee dug in my eye. Actually, I did. I'm sorry. He said, a bee dug in his eye. I said, when? Before you went to sleep? He's like, yeah, no. Like, he couldn't know when this bee was digging in his eye. And it's not a sting. When asked, he didn't seem sure, but finally said when I was asleep. Wednesday, this is last week, he played doctor. He was the doctor. He checked my teeth, closed my eyes, said, close your eyes, this is going to hurt. Put a finger 
in the corner of each of my eyes, pressed, and made a loud drilling or buzzing sound. When he was done, he checked my heartbeat and told me, good job. This is what he did to Liz. Without prompting. He basically put his hand over her eye and went rrr, 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 and made some horrible freaking noise. 